Right guys, Yang Gub here, and I'm going to be releasing a video like this every week where I go over questions or question within my Discord community. Um, if you guys aren't already a part of that, you guys can find a link in my description. I've invited um, a lot of very smart minds I've met over the past few years, like much, much more smarter than me, very coherent, and they're very experienced and skilled. Uh, I recently launched this group last week and it's already grown to over 900 members which blows my mind because every time I post a story like 200 to 300 members join and it's just really crazy how like people just like respond to my story so very grateful for that um, very grateful for you guys is trusting me uh, when you guys join introduce yourself say hi to someone random in the general chat uh, you never know what kind of connections you're going to make um, it could be your future business partner or maybe even lover like who knows right um, have someone who you can look up to as a mentor, have someone around the same skill level as you, and have someone who you can teach, right? Um, I forgot where that quote comes from. I kind of paraphrased it. But anyways, let's get into the couple questions that stood out for me. But yeah, you're probably wondering why I have this ads manager up. I just wanted to, uh, um, I just saw some of the, like, you know, videos on uh, YouTube with showing results usually stand out, like, um, the most because, you know, like, I just get that trust factor thing out the, out the way. So here we go. Refresh. Um, $3 million spent maximum to date on this ad account in US dollars. Um, anyways, let's let's get into the questions. First question is, hey guys, could you give me feedback on an ad I made and my landing page? So let's take a look at their ad. So this is their ad. Still using messy cables to charge devices. They start off with a valid proposition of question. Um, so let's see. Multiple light modes, help your eye fatigue, benefits. You know, like an ad like this could work, right? Like it could maybe work, like who knows? Like if a person clicks your ad, they have interest in it anyways, even though like it might look scammy to us. Um, they click on it, they obviously don't care that it looks scammy. So let's click on the, actually let's see what the value propositions are. So um, still using messy cables to charge devices. So. If they watch the video, obviously that question stood out to them. So, cause like this, this start right here is like, it's not really a wow factor. It's like a, a uh, scene that people can relate to. So, um, if they are like watching the video, this is like the main value proposition that is going to hook them in. And that's the main value proposition that you should focus on in the video and on your landing page. And that comes to a concept called message ma message matching. Um, so let's see. Introducing the charge easy charger state organized and charger device three times faster. So uh, Okay, we're building off that main value proposition, right? Multiple light modes help your eye fatigue. So and It's like people really care about that if they watch this video Maybe maybe not we'll, we'll, we'll find out to place your device before you sleep or work um, Then Okay, so the messaging in this is kind of weak. It doesn't really follow like a clear framework. It's missing trust factor, social proof, and the benefits. Um, it's almost like when you're watching it's like, okay, so so what now? It's like, it's, it's not very like structured. Um, the start of it works good. So hats off, like starts off with a strong value proposition and kind of like a hook. It's like, um, there's like an X blinking on the screen and then Introducing the charger, stay organized and charge your device three times faster. So it's following up on the main value proposition mentioned at the start of the ad. Um, but then it goes a little off tangent later on here. It's like really weak points here. I think focus on the main points that uh, focus on your main value proposition, right? At the start, especially. Um, and when you keep things clear and simple with Facebook ads, it's going to optimize much better and you're going to have a much higher conversion rate because your creative frames um, everything for the customer. So it starts at your creative and then it goes to your landing page, right? So you have that, that's where most people miss, right? Um, they, they, they focus a lot on the landing page, optimizing that, which is like important, but then, um, and they're focusing on like color of the buttons and stuff, which doesn't really matter. Like, just think about it. Um, again, it's like the customer journey and um, making sure the message matches the ad and that, that's like the more it's more important than the colors on your, your website and the structure of it right you can follow like just a basic uh, structure on your landing page like uh, following the best practices but the message doesn't match or like it's missing trust factors 
Um, point is, when you're, you're working on your creative or optimizing your funnel, uh, work on things that are like, will make the biggest, uh, uh, will give you like, will give you the biggest uh, return. So I'm talking the angle, um, making sure your creative follows a structure, uh, making sure you have an appealing offer. Um, and I'm all over the place right now, so anyways, I'm not, I'm not going to edit this out, but um, that's what you're, you're focusing on. Um, so now let's look at the landing page and make sure everything is coherent with the creative. So we're going to view this at the uh, at, at, in the mobile view because that's where most of our customers are. So this is what people are going to see when they open the website. So right away, they see... Um, they see image, right? So making sure you have high quality image is very important. That's the first thing that stands out for people and the logo and the off like colors, right? So very big blue block in the middle here. So we, we, we outline offers here and we outline some risk reducers. Um, so like free worldwide shipping, all orders re receive 100% free shipping is offer hassle free returns, which it, which is a risk reducer. Low stock left, which is offer, right? Um, we go down here, charge easy. TM trust factor rather charger with eye care light so people know what the product is because like if you look at this it's like um, don't really know what it is but again creative frames everything for us charge easy making sure the logo is clear and e easy like it matches like what they're seeing on Facebook very important um, scrolling down price um, reveals social proof is very important um, but making sure you have good social proof, right? Like if I scroll down here and I see AliExpress social proof, very obvious now, um, let's see what it is. So works great and functional too, amazing value to make me more productive overall, I would recommend. So this is like, this is what I would call, like I love it, looks amazing in my office. Um, this is what I would call uh, ego reveals. So um, it doesn't really sell the product, like you want to have reveals or at least feature reveals on the first like section of your reveals, things that bring up a problem and provide a solution. So, um, or, or like even thinking, so like when we click on, like again, message matching, why are people watching this ad? They have messy cables to charge devices. So um, your reveals should mention something about having messy cables, having problems charging the device, and then this being the best product out of the millions of other products and why this company is the best for this one. Um, anyways, let's go down a little. So, are you tired of a cluttered desk? Um, it's like, like that, that, that I, in my opinion, that's a very weak, like follow up on the met message in our creative. Like it is still using messy cables to charge devices. Um, I think if anything, if you want to be safe, you want to be really safe, do the same title right here. Like the headline should be still using messy cables to charge devices. Do that. Um, keep your desk organized. So like we, I don't even think we mentioned a desk in the creative. So people will be like, okay, this, this could throw people off, right? You, you want to think about what people are thinking when they land on your landing page and you want to guide their thoughts accordingly. So we already framed what their people are. We already framed what people are thinking on our creative. So we, we have to keep everything like has to be like the same on the landing page. Um, that's also why like some scammy landing page, like, quote unquote scammy or ugly landing page work because the creative and it might look shitty right it might be like kind of like it might be clearly scammy to us but if people are watching it and click on it do they care about the scammy product like this how, how it looks they don't care about how it looks they just care about what the product is providing for other people and they think that that product can provide the same solution to them um okay so I'm getting off track here, so no more annoying cables, easily clear your workspace, prevent eye fatigue. So these points were mentioned in the creative, so that's good. Don't ever forget to charge. So just making sure your points do match up with the creative is probably the most important. Um, we have a GIF here, I think. Was that GIF? Um, I couldn't tell if it moved or not. Um, and I just clicked on it, so now it's going to bring me somewhere. Um, let's see where it brings me here. Um, so brings me a checkout page, which could be a problem to be honest so make sure you remove that because like as people are scrolling down they might click on that and they're like where am I going and then they bounce off right too much it could cause friction okay so get rid of your messy cables so 
this headline itself like matches with the creative so uh, it, it might even be a better one than this one here um, just going down clutter free um, making sure you're valid here like when you're when you're writing about um, the benefits uh, make sure you're writing about the benefit of the benefits so what's the benefit of getting rid of messy cables um, that's for you to find out and that way you can dig deeper into like what's causing this problem but for this product messy cables I don't think it digs too deep so it might be like an impulse buy right so maybe like oh man like sending $5.99 might not be like it might be expensive right but who knows like oh we'll see I think if you run this ad over time and you're making sure that your creative is clean um, or like it doesn't have to be clean like it's just simple and clear and the value is uh, clearly outlined and the product page is following the best practices then um, you're gonna figure out your cost per purchase and from there what I would do if this product is heavy I would calculate the cost that it would I would calculate the cost it would ship from China and I'll calculate the cost it would ship from the United States um, if it's cheaper to ship from the United States and you you can see that you're maintaining a certain cost per uh, purchase on Facebook I would just ship to the United States and then uh, from there you become profitable right and people can't compete with you from if they're shipping from China just because the shipping is a little too expensive and that's like a strategy I implemented for one of my stores um, take what you just got there and uh, implement it if anything um, day and night no more eye fatigue better sleep okay so it falls the creative like this part is like decent right um, I'm not really analyzing the copywriting too much so uh, that's for you guys to analyze um, benefits no more messy desk prevents eye fatigue um, again like where's this messy desk come coming from like um, it does not mention it here so let's go down we guarantee this will improve your room um, it is not mentioned in the creative at all like I don't think people care about that when they're clicking on this ad and checking it out maybe like a very very small amount but majority of people not really right so make sure um the yeah, risk reducer is very good right so if you guys search up copy hackers on Google you guys will find a lot of good information about how to create high converting landing page and how you should just structure your copywriting on your landing page um, scrolling down make sure you guys have an FAQ is very very important um, make sure you guys um, have risk reducers in it as well and then researching what the common problems are when buying products like this online so you guys can check Amazon check with the competitors uh, check out what people are saying about the competitors and write about it in your FAQ uh, again customer reveals social proof is very important but if you're if you have very low quality social proof it might not even be worth having social proof because at that point it might do you more harm than good um, overall the website looks clean um, located in Los Angeles refund policy terms of service privacy policy okay so let's see are we missing the shipping policy here okay how long does shipping takes it takes two three business days to process order I wouldn't only include it in FAQ I would include it in the footer I would include it in the main menu um, so they're missing some information here right because let's say we have to make our website as user-friendly as possible so making sure people can find their information easy as easy as possible so even having a tab that says shipping information even having a tab that says um, money back guarantee um, makes like let help make like make it easy for your customer to find the information they need um, if possible all on one page here like it, like and it has to be structured and just clean because you know people do miss um, information like even if you explicitly explicitly say um, orders on back order there's gonna be tons of people that miss it anyways they might just even like they just read a few words here and then they're like oh okay I'm gonna buy and then that's it right so you want to make sure things are clear for it uh, a, a wide range of customers so I'm talking about some customers might be impulse buyers so they might just be scrolling down okay they click buy um, some people might scroll around your website they might click on the main menu they might find shipping policy up here some people might read all the way down click on shipping policy at the bottom read more about about us on your, on your website um, look for some trust factors then buy they might search up your website on Google then buy like think about the customer journey and what you would do if you were a customer right most like like it, it's a very small amount of people that will be impulse purchasers um, most people are going to do their research before purchasing so like I mentioned in my old videos I'm not sure if they're still up but um, make sure you're running multi marketing channels to net those people back in because people do do research before they buy 
Um, so just consider that. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to cover that for this video and that's it. Um, actually, there is one more thing that I wanted to cover, which is in my Discord group here. So let's take a look at the uh, chat general here. We had a good chat with my friend Abraham and Arthur about testing creatives. So question by um, Benton, how many rounds of tests do you usually go through before moving into a new product? And well, like I mentioned, and like what my other videos say, I'm doing my due diligence now uh, to test products, right? Because as you guys are taught on YouTube all the time, it's like spam test products, which I mean, it works. And I think that's what you have to go through at the start anyway, to so like build the skill and build the capital. But as like I'm making more capital and my skills increasing, I'm like, why am I spam testing products when, um, and, and it's, it's almost like coin flipping. I want to make the most use out of my skill as a marketer. Um, I think I, and that, that brings me more, uh, a higher success rate, um, rather than getting VAs to product research and to create videos. I think it's a waste of time. I think it is, it burns my money. And of course, um, but that, that's just for me, right? That's what works for me and my personality and my business. Um, everyone does their business differently. There are people killing it on general stores. They're killing it on one product stores. They're killing it testing multiple products, my product testing every day. Um, but for me, I take it a little slower and that's just what fits for my personality. For my personality, it might be a capital intensive, but that's it. But it's only capital intensive if you're starting out, right? For me right now, I'm at the stage where I do need to upgrade that area of my business to take it to the next level, make that, make that, it's all about systems and stages, right? Um, like for example, clear example is like, you're not gonna use AliExpress once you're at my level because you, your business, okay, so your business is gonna go up like this if you use AliExpress and then it's gonna go down because you're not able to keep up with orders. Um, you don't have that connection, like a really close connection with your supplier. Um, and you know, it's just, everything is about systems and what I mean about, and what I mean systems is like, like making sure you have like a, a 3PL that can handle scale, uh, making sure your customer service can handle scale, making sure they know what to say, making sure they um, know how to, make, making sure they know your product and how to reply to certain questions, um, creating macros, and then even with the app you're using, um, you can, like for me, I like to use Freshdesk, so that in Freshdesk filters keywords, it detects an email, so I can just filter it to like, if it detects shipping in the in the uh, message, it's gonna filter it out to the shipping department. If it detects um, refunds, it's gonna send them like maybe a automatic refund email saying, um, sending them an FAQ on how they can get the refund. And if the problem isn't solved, they can just reply to email and the ticket will reopen, things like that, right? Um, just to make things more efficient at scale. Um, but for me, like creative, um, using VAs and team VAs to test products and create videos is inefficient and I think of course, it can get me results, but I think like investing and like following companies that do or following companies that have already scaled like past the dropshipping phase and they're just building and launching products. They all do like these custom creatives somehow. Um, and I think it's where we have to move in order for like my business to like really grow next this year. Um, again, hopefully that made sense. Um, you guys can join the Discord group and read this whole chat here. Um, like a lot of people are agreeing with me and that's where, um, a lot of people are moving towards, or at least the people that I talk to within this community. Um, anyways, guys, hope you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe, comment, um, and good luck with the sales this week, guys. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.